Welcome back to Afternoon Express, where we have given you nothing but Easter inspiration when it comes to the menu. But if you're wondering, what do I wash it all down with, Bali? Well, don't worry, I'm about to get you sorted. Today, I'm about to unlock my 100% full potential in the kitchen. Yes, I am putting my mixologist hat on to make a clover crush bunny colada mocktail just in time for a feel-good Easter. Now, Chef Chart, it's my turn. Oh, I'm glad. <laughs> this. I'm so happy there's literally nothing in front of me but just watching you sort of, you know, create a wonderful mocktail. Absolutely. So you're going to put my mocktail mixologist uh, skills to the test by having a taste. I'm just going to give you a taste of a few that I made earlier. Oh, Be very honest. nice. Oh, fantastic. I could get used to this, you know. It's going to come to, <laughs> you know, the sets and just sort of drink away. Why not? Enjoy oh. it, friend. Enjoy oh. it. But whilst you are having a sip, Please may you pass me mm. some of that crush. I need um, the, thank you, the carrot and orange flavor. And I'll also just like a little bit of orange as well. I need both. Oh, you've been demanding today all of a sudden. One thing about oh. me, one thing about me. <laughs> now, Mzanti, if you are wondering what do what else you need to put this together, we've got some simple syrup, which is just equal parts sugar and water. We've got some lemon juice. We've got some dried, crushed chili spice. We also have some coconut water. We've got some grenadine here and some ice. Yep. It's just that simple. So I'm going to start here, Chef Chart, by adding a little bit of grenadine just to the bottom for that added sweetness. Oh, you're quite sweetness. generous with that grenadine there. Oh, it's one of those sort of flavours. I think you love it or you hate it. Do you grenadine and, you know... Well, I, I do love it when I do put some lemon in any mocktail okay. just to kind of balance the flavours. Um, but, yeah, I was actually a little bit generous. Maybe I should... <laughs> Maybe I should have knocked you out with all that sweetness, huh? Okay, and then into my mixer, I'm going to put some ice. Now, I don't really like ice. Do you like ice? Oh, I love ice. Absolutely. Really? Well, I think it does have its sort of, you know, its, its moments of, you know, sometimes you don't want to drink with it. If you really want something just to sort of, you know, knock back and uh, sort of quench your thirst. Yeah. Um, but certainly for a drink like this, I think you want something refreshing and, you know, hopefully the weather plays along as well. So, mm. you know, it's a combination of things that really sort of, you know, create that moment for whether you want ice or not. I've got sensitive teeth. Ah, okay, so yours is sort of <sighs> like, uh, you got sort of almost a, a medical condition of sorts. Yeah, I love your <laughs> relationship with ice for sure, but okay. for this, the cooler, the better. Oh, so absolutely. I've definitely added a generous amount of that, um, of the ice. I've gone in with the simple syrup. Perfect. I've gone in with the lemon juice. Here's some coconut water, water also going in. Right. And then some chili flakes. Are you putting some in or are you sort of... I'm going to put a little bit in. enjoy a little bit of spice, eh? I do. Yeah, I, I exactly. love a good chili cocktail. I know it's weird. A lot of people think, Palusa. But trust me, listen, there is definitely some... Ooh. Okay. Into my <laughs> Chef Chan is a scaredy but I, I almost put the whole thing. Yeah, your heart's like, here we go. <laughs> well, again, you want something just to sort of just enjoy that flame and that heat that flutters across your palate, but you're you a little bit more of a kick, I guess. Absolutely. And then in I go with this is one of my favorite flavors of Crush, the carrot and orange. And of course, just that carrot again, mimicking the Easter kind of theme. You yep. know, it's all about the Easter eggs and Easter bunny, and then just a splash of that orange juice. Then, Mzanti, I would like to remind you about the Crush Unlock Your 100% TV show. Watch the show tomorrow evening where you get a chance to meet a young, inspiring female farmer who dreams of educating others and sharing her message of sustainability. She meets up with Miss SA Runner Up or Ayanda Tabete in KZN and who will also be representing South Africa in Miss Super National. You know, the show is super iconic. It's encouraging people to chase their dreams. And today, my dream is being a mixologist. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll cheers to that any day, you know. Oh, How yes. are you finding mm. the mocktail? I'm very happy, and guess what? I get like a, a, a canapé in between as well. Oh. You get a little snackery snack. Uh, snackery snack, snack, snack. A little yeah. snackery. So now that everything is in the container, is in my mix, so you can already see it's starting to cool up. I've mixed it all up, and now it's time to pour. So. Clover Crush is a delicious and refreshing 100% fruit blend. Clover Crush has no added sugar or sweeteners. It, and it's also enriched with vitamins A, C and E for your 100% goodness. Just like that. Well, Ooh. look at that. It's vibrant, it's colourful, summery. It's everything that you really want in a drink. Isa, my joke. Oh. Isa, man. And do you know what I'd also do? Just for, like, the decorative flair, yeah. I also could have um, just dipped my glass in water and then put some of those chilli uh, flakes just around, just to rim oh. the edge of the glass, just for that added kick. So, cheers to that. Oh, cheers again. 
Oh, wow. Delicious. Yummy. Now keep an eye out on Crush's social media for more information on the Crush Unlock Your 100% TV show on Sunday at 8 p.m. on SABC2. Now the main show is on Wednesdays at 7.30 p.m. on SABC2. Unlock your 100% this Wednesday evening at 7.30 as we meet a young, inspiring female farmer who dreams of educating others and sharing her message of sustainability. Guys on the farm was just like, okay, you look like a farm barbie right now. <laughs> That's farm barbie. It's a real blessing when you find a worm in your soil. Oh, so well done. <laughs> Very exciting. <laughs> so cheers. Follow Thashni Manju on her journey to becoming a farming influencer. Let's unlock your 100% every Wednesday evening at 7.30 on SABC2.